Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Southern G More Gals. If you love budget-friendly DIYs and thrift flips, well, you're in the right place. If you're new to my channel, I'm Elizabeth. I want to welcome you here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Welcome to our third Thursday thrift flips video. I can't believe that a month has already went by. It's really went by fast, but that's okay because I'm ready for some spring and summer for some warm weather, so bring it on. Now, my first flip here, I was trying to do maybe a little bit of a springtime Easter theme, and we used to have this lawn and garden store close to us that every spring right before Easter, they always had baby chicks and bunnies and the little ducklings or little ducks in there. And I love to go see those. So I thought the ducks would tie in good with that type theme. I bought this vase. I've actually had it for a couple months. I think I bought it in the fall at Goodwill. And these little ducks here, they're not really sweet and cute. <laughs> they look really creepy to me for some reason. Their eyes, I don't like their eyes on here at all. They look like they have almost some like googly type eyes so we're going to make this over i think i paid about a dollar fifty for it no more than two dollars i think it was around a dollar fifty and this is actually after i've already cleaned it up but it has some it still looks pretty dirty to me so let's flip this over and see what we can do with this piece now, I just used a flat black spray paint and spray painted my vase. Um, it still looks like it has a little bit of shine to it, though, but that's all right because we're going to use a little bit of wax on here. But at least I'm not being followed around the room by those eyes. <laughs> no more googly eyes. It looks so much better. It looks much cleaner, too. And of course, I thought I'd already hit start filming, but I did not. But I'm using some of the Waverly White Wax, and I'm just using a big brush. I'm just putting like one coat on here. You can see the duck on the right side. I've removed a little bit of the wax already. I made the mistake. I thought I was filming, and I wasn't, so you missed that part. But I'm just taking a dry paper towel and just blotting over on wanting to remove some of that so the white looks like it's down in the, the creases or down in those crevices. And if you've never used this wax before, the more you work with it, I think the better it gets. So you can keep putting coats on and wipe it off and more layers. But I just put, I painted the whole vase with the wax. And then I went back and wiped most of it off, except the little bit where that's down in the grooves of the ducts. But that took away that shine finish, gives it a nice flat look. But then I um, left it a little bit heavier around the ducts. So it gives those, because it kind of makes them pop out or gives them a little bit of definition. Well, here it is. I think it turns out so pretty, much better than that dirty old white. And of course, those, oh, those googly eyes following you all around. And I have to say, my husband did a great job this year. He gave me roses again for Valentine's Day. He's been giving them to me for the last couple of years. So nice surprise there. Um, and I love the white. I haven't had white ones, I don't think, before. But I just took a couple of those, put them in my vase, a little bit of burlap ribbon here. I think it gives it a nice rustic look or even a farmhouse type look and even everyday look. So you could keep this out for just spring or every day and change out what's in your vase. Let me know what you think about this one and let's move on to our next flip. So let me tell you about our third Thursday thrift flips. It's an open invitation that myself and Tammy from the Rusted Willow are hosting on the third Thursday of every month where you can show off your flips or your thrifted items and flip them over. If you don't know Tammy, let me tell you about her and her channel, the Rusted Willow. Uh, Tammy is an amazing creator. She's got lots of budget-friendly DIYs and thrift flips. She also has her own booth that she has. Um, I'm going to have Tammy's information along with her channel down in my description box she has that um spring easter decor video that's out right now it has some amazing little bunnies in it so check that video out if you've not seen that and i'll have tammy's video link down in my description box for her third thursday for this month along with her channel link but also check out the playlist because a lot of our other creators and youtube friends are participating in the playlist so check out and see what they flipped over for this month so this flip has a little bit of a story behind it. My sister-in-law had gave my mother-in-law one year for Easter a beautiful Easter basket to hang on the front door. Well, I've wanted to recreate that look, and I saw this basket at the thrift store, and I was like, oh my gosh. You had to snag this up because I was going to try to recreate that. Now, this basket is white, and my front door is white. So I love the white, but if I put something white out there, you can't see it good. So I'm going to make this darker. 
It only paid two dollars for this. I thought that was a really good deal because this is a nice sturdy basket. It's flat on the back to hang up against the door and it's in really good shape. It does have some of the green foam or floral foam or sponge left down there in the inside. I've got to clean out and then we're going to spray paint it. I used an espresso brown spray paint and I was okay with it not being real, real solid looking. It was all right if a little bit of that white showed through, but for the most part, I wanted to darken it down just so you could see it good on the door. And this is a sign from the Dollar Tree. I actually popped the little bunny off. I used this in one of my DIYs from last year. So I'm going to use this bunny again. And I already had him. He was in one of my baskets that I made last year. And he was already in this. <laughs> I can't believe when I took it out of the basket there, I completely forgot that I put him on a floral foam type piece. And I just used a little skewer from the Dollar Tree. And it fits perfect. Like, I couldn't have asked for it to fit any better than this. So... I just hot glued the little metal bunny onto one of those little wooden skewers and I pushed it or it was already pushed down in there and I just placed it down in my basket and it fits perfect because I want the bunny to be up a little bit higher but not over the handle. And the thrift store I usually go to, it's kind of hit or miss with floral items. But I did find these beautiful pink tulips, and they were only 50 cents. I thought they were really pretty. And these yellow ones came from the Dollar Tree. I was going to use those, but I didn't end up using those in the end. And you can see that those were a little bit larger than the pink ones. So I thought those were really a, a nice find for 50 cents. And these are just some little eggs from the Dollar Tree. They're little foam eggs. And I'm going to use these in my last two flips. I'm going to use the three turquoise or blue eggs in on my bunny wreath here, my bunny basket wreath. And then the two white eggs are going to go on my last flip. So I just painted these. I'm going to take a little bit of brown paint and kind of speckle it on here. Um, I was starting to speckle it. <laughs> and then it was kind of taking forever. So I got a little bit impatient. So I just basically kind of blobbed it on here or, or splotched it on here myself and here's my little bunny basket i think this one turned out really cute too it's going to look great on my front door uh, it, with it being white i think it'll stand out really good so you can see i just placed all of the little tulips in here i went back and put some spanish moss on top I used some of those little wooden skewers for the eggs there. You can see that one in the back just a little bit. So I just pushed that up into the foam for the eggs. And then I had a couple little pieces of lavender I put in here. Um, I think the colors look great with that brown and with the little metal bunny. Let me know what you think about this one. And I'm hoping that the Spanish moss, since it's down in there pretty good, and then the flowers are kind of holding it in, I hope it's going to stay in there pretty good being outside. And I think it will because I think the tulips are enough of those in there to hold it in place good. I found these pretty little baskets at the thrift store. I thought they were just beautiful, and I think they're handmade. Um, really impressive, I thought, and I love the color. That little small one was 75 cents, and then I found a large one. I think it was a dollar or a dollar fifty for the large one. There you can see the big one. I thought they were really pretty. I bought them a little while ago, and I thought that'd be great for Easter. Well, you know when you're in a hurry and you set something down outside and you totally forget that you have a big dog outside. <laughs> well, I set these down outside and I went inside to get something else. Well, when I came back outside, it looked like a crime scene had happened. I wasn't very happy. And I'm not going to name any names or anything, but um, somebody with some really big teeth decided to get a hold of one of my baskets <laughs> and they're not going to even look over it. you can see that he's intentionally not going to look over at me when I have my phone in my hand he will not hold his head up for me to get a nice picture of him because he knows he's in trouble well he bit the whole back end of this basket off so I figured I'm still going to use it I took my glue gun and tried to glue the back of it the best I can but you can see he I think he either ate the back part or chewed it apart and I didn't find it on the ground um so <laughs> there goes that nice craftsmanship somebody made and I'm just going to take a piece of burlap ribbon that I have I'm going to put this down inside both of the baskets just to fill it in some and then I'm going to use a little bit of sm Spanish moss here on the top to make like a bird nest here on the top I don't have a lot of the moss left so that's one reason I'm putting the ribbon down there on the bottom and the moss can kind of be kind of messy too so I didn't know that I wanted that coming out the bottom of the basket 
And if you love that bird nest and bird look for the spring, I've got some $5 tree spring DIYs that I was in the collaboration with the Crafty Quinn. That video came out last week. So if you haven't seen that, the link is down in my description box. Check that out. But for this one, I'm going to use a bunny. And he's a little foam bunny. They came from the Dollar Tree. I used these in a DIY last year. And they were originally white. And I'd painted him pink. Well, I'm going to paint him back white. So I'm just going to take his little bow off. I'm going to paint him in off white and use some antique wax on him. And I just repeated the same process with the big basket. I put some ribbon down in there and made a little bird nest type look on the top of the Spanish moss. And this is where I put the two other little eggs. Really sweet, cute look, but also has that rustic kind of farmhouse look. And you can use these baskets or I'll be able to use these baskets for different things and change them out. And you can never tell from here that somebody almost ate the basket, right? So I've got a really great giveaway planned when I reach 2,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and help us reach that goal of 2,000 subscribers by Easter. I want to thank everybody for watching my video today. And I want to thank Tammy for hosting with me the challenge every month, along with everyone that's participating in the playlist. So check out The Rusted Willow and check out the other YouTubers participating in the channel. Subscribe to their channels. Give them some support. If you get, leave us a comment and give us a like on our channels that really helps our channels out let me know which one of these you like the best thanks everybody for watching hope everybody has a great day